Okay, let's look a little bit more at these regions. Um, so I made that single recording on the track. Test, 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 one, hash, oh, one. I then created one big region representing the entire length of the file on the disk. Then I chopped that big region in half with the scissors, which gave me this region representing the first half of the file on the disk, and this region representing the second half of the file on the disk. And then that region was copied over on the track to here. So I have a copy of this region here, also representing the second half of the file on the disk. So there's all the regions in my project media that I ever created from that original recording. Okay. Now, as I explained, when you go to delete regions from the project, from a track, if you go to delete the last region in the project that references the file on the disk, then Logic will ask you if you want to actually delete the file. Okay, so I'm going to delete all these regions now. Okay, and these are the last regions in use in the project that reference the file. So I select them all and backspace. And Logic asks me, do you want to keep the original file on the disk that these regions reference, or do you want to actually delete the file off the disk? So I'm going to say keep. Boom. So I've removed all the regions from the project. There are no more regions representing that file on the disk. But because I said keep, the original file has been kept on the disk and it's there in my project media. And every region I ever created from that original file, or referencing that original file, all those regions have been retained in my project media. These can be used again, just dragged onto a track and used any time, because after all, these are simply regions representing a section of the file on the disk to be played back. Okay. Now you can organize and manage your project media here if you want to. Um, so for example, this main region representing the entire file on the disk, I could rename this as just test, 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 because it represents the whole file. I'm double clicking to rename, by the way, and you must press enter to fix the new title that you type. Now this region represents the first half of the file on the disk, so I could rename this as test, 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 part one. It's the first half of the file on the disk. This region represents the second half of the file on the disk, so I could rename this test, 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 part two, because it represents the second half of the file. Now this one is just this region is just a copy of that. So I don't really need this and it's not being used on the project anywhere. And as it's just a copy of that region, I can get rid of it. Select backspace. So you can retitle, delete and, and organize your project media here, these regions which represent some part of the file they live under. And these can be dragged onto the project and used any time because they just as I said represent a section of the file to be played back. Now bear one thing in mind um, if you drag a region onto a track which has no other region content on that track, then the track will be retitled with the title of the file that the region represents. So if I drag this region, the part one of the file, onto the track, there is no other regions on the track, boom and it renames the track the same as the file that the region represents. Test, 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 one, hash, oh, one. So I could rename this track, audio one, like that. But if there's already a region on the track, if you drag one of these regions from the project media onto the track and drop it, it does not rename the track. So these regions, again, simply represent parts of the file on the disk to be played back. So this represents the second half of the file. Anywhere I want that part of the file to play back, I drag that region and drop it. I want it played at bar 16. I want that second half of the file again to be played at bar 21 and again at bar 25. You know, I mean, every way that you drag and drop this region, that tells Logic to play that half of the file the region represents at that point. So these can be renamed, deleted, retitled, and, and dragged onto tracks and used anywhere we want. Okay. But that's just sort of one part of the beauty of this non-destructive editing. We can lengthen or shorten regions to represent just particular bits of the file. We can cut them, resize them, copy them, do what we want, and it never affects the file on the disk. That's just one part 
of the beauty of non-destructive editing. But the other part about non-destructive editing is that we can use regions to be creative. Well, I'll just give you some examples of that next.